welcome back to Reading Fan Fictions. As always, I'm your host, Owen Welcher, from the, from the Chiron Clan. Today, if you thought the overcooked steak was bad, you ain't fucking seen shit yet. Yes, it's another Koopalings fan fiction. I know I've overdone them to death. But I promise you, the next time I release one of these episodes, I'll try to read a different genre. <sighs> this is a shipping fic. This would be perfectly fine if the two featured in this were an ordinary gay couple, you see. But there's one flaw. One tiny, teensy, weensy, little fucking flaw that ruins the whole damn fucking story. INCEST! If you don't know what incest is, it's one of it's when two family members are kissing and smooching on each other. And not like in regular times, I mean like they're in love with each other. It's fucking disgusting as all fucking hell! It blows my mind how people can fucking do this. I mean, they're brothers! Just they're all, all the Kooplings are siblings. I see Wendy and Roy stories, Ludwig and Larry stories, fucking every Koopling shipped together. Iggy and Lemmy, to Roy and Morton, Roy and Wendy, Ludwig and Wendy, Lo Ludwig and Larry, Larry fucking everyone. Well, and this is also a lemon fic. So viewer discretion is highly advised, because Lemon Figs has some of the <laughs> it has some of the drinking, if you know what I mean. So viewer discretion is fucking highly advised. Let's begin reading, shall we? It was late night, and Bowser was walking to his room. After being outside thinking about how to defeat Mario, he signed. Maybe it was time to quit bothering someone and just focus on his family. He shook his head and thought, Maybe not. He wanted the Koopalings to become just like him and not like Mario and the others. <laughs> At least no. He was long he was walking alone in quiet halls. First he walked by Ludwig's room, where he opened the door slightly and smiled at the side. Ludwig is bent over the desk asleep, obviously tired from working too much on an invention. Bowser sighed and closed the door. He then walked by Wendy's room, which he peeked inside and saw her beneath the pink covers holding a giant teddy bear. Next was Morton, who was snoring, almost waking up the entire castle. Next came Roy, who was talking in his sleep about Kid King Luigi's ass. Larry was covered all the way, so, ba so Bowser didn't see him, but he could hear the soft breathing. Then he walked by Iggy and Lemmy's room. The twins had never stopped sharing a room, but Bowser had noticed Iggy and Lemmy growing apart for some reason, and Bowser always thought that they would be inseparable. No! Authors, no! <laughs> if it smelled wrong, then sorry, XD. So he suddenly heard a sniffle in Iggy's voice saying, It's alright, don't cry. Bowser softly knocked on the door and he walked in. He saw Iggy holding Lemmy as he cried. What's wrong, boys? Bowser asked. Something embarrassing happened, Father. Lemmy whimpered as he clutched Iggy who stroked his back. All the Koopas took off their shells when they went to sleep. How could they sleep if they didn't fall into their shells? What happened, Levy? Tell me! I am your father! There is nothing to be embarrassed about! Bowser sat down next to Lemmy and stroked his rainbow hair. Lemmy sniffled and moved back a little and showed him a wet spot on the bed. Bowser cleared his throat. <clears throat> so that's the problem? Father, I'm 15 years old. This shouldn't happen to me. I should not pee on myself. Even though I don't remember pig, but... Uh... Um, Lemmy, this is a pee. This is... Oh. Bowser ran a hand over his face. How would he tell the boy that he just had a premature ejaculation? Oh, fuck me. 
<laughs> Calm down, let me let father speak. Iggy spoke quietly. I'm oh, sorry. Iggy spoke quietly as he stroked Lemmy's hair. Lemmy looked at him and hugged him hard. Oh, Iggy, what if I'm sick? What if I'm gonna die? I don't think it's that serious, Lemmy. Iggy says and, and looked at Bowser with a, with slight fear in his eyes. Boys, come tomorrow at noon. Come to the family room. We'll talk about this. Lemmy. Lemmy, son, you are not sick. This is something very. We'll talk tomorrow, okay? Now go to sleep. He kissed Lemmy and Iggy's brows and tucked Iggy in. And was going to tuck Lemmy in when Lemmy said, Father, may I sleep with Iggy tonight? I feel safer next to him. Sure, son, hop in. Lemmy grinned and hopped. Iggy giggled and Lemmy snuggled next to him. Bowser tucked them in, said goodnight, and walked out. Bouncer walked outside and closed the door when he heard a voice. Father! Bowser turned around and saw Boobick standing there rubbing his eyes. His hair was standing up everywhere looking even wilder than usual. Something wrong, Boobick? Bowser asked. Boobick blushed and fell where he stood. I had a nightmare. The mother's death. Oh, son! Over to where Ludwig was standing with his head low and shoulders shaking. Bowser hugged him and led him back to his room where he sat next to Ludwig's bed and stroked his hair, comforted his son, blah, 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 blah. The next day, the dining room was full of Kooplings yelling and screaming about breakfast. And I, what am I Everyone was chatting except Lemmy, who was sitting there staring at the plate, not caring about the food like a little fuck. Iggy looked at him sadly when he reached out and grabbed Lemmy's hand under the table. Lemmy looked up and looked into Iggy's eyes. He blushed and smiled. He used to tell everything. Now, but now everything had changed. Morning, Wendy walked outside to play hide and seek. Ludwig and Larry walked away, and Lemmy had caught a glimpse. Authors, no! <laughs> Spelled right? Yes, no, X. Noon came and Iggy and Lemmy walked to the family room where Bowser was sitting in a large chair. Close the door behind you, boys! Bowser said. Iggy closed the door as Lemmy went and sat on the couch as Iggy joined him. Boys, what happened today? What's completely normal? Bowser said with a smile. How so? Explain, Father, it's never happened before. Lemmy said in a loud voice as Iggy patted his back. Boys, you are both of the age of maturity where big changes happen in the body. Changes that you may not understand completely. Like yesterday. That was not pee. It was... Sorry. Bowser said uncomfortably as Lemmy's and Iggy's eyes were right in the side of place. You mean... You, you mean I came? Iggy squealed and Iggy blushed. Yes, son, and it's normal. It happens to everyone yet. Lemmy said in defense. Oh. Then why hasn't it happened to Iggy yet? Everyone is different, and maybe Iggy's mind needs a little more time. It'll happen to him, too, Bowser said as Iggy. So it's normal, Lemmy asked. <sighs> he completely. You're the books that your older brothers and sister have read. They're very helpful. Read them both together, and it'll feel easier that way. Bowser says again as they box. Lemmy and Iggy smile. Thank you, Father. I feel so relieved. Let me chuckle as he hugged Bowser. So did Iggy as he ran to the room, giggling about things we spoke about. Bowser shook his head. Boys, teenage googly boys. He shuddered. Iggy and Lemmy closed the door behind him as they sat down on Lemmy's bed, which had been changed because of the accident. <sighs> They looked at the books. The first book was uh, Growing Up and Feeling It. The second book was in Changes in Your Body. The third was What a Boy Gotta Know About His Penis. Let me take a giggle as a title. They opened up the third book until Morton came and knocked them on the door, telling them it's time to do them. Uh. The day went, norm went by normally, and night came as everyone went to sleep, but Iggy and Lemmy, who were under the covers of the flashlight, reading the books. 
Lemmy and Iggy, I mean, Lemmy looked at Iggy and blushed. Iggy? Yeah, Iggy looked at Lemmy, he was obviously trembling. What's wrong? What's wrong? Iggy was cut off as Lemmy pressed his lips against Iggy's. Iggy's eyes were wide as he shivered. Lemmy pulled away and turned his head the other way. I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. He looked at Iggy, who was staring at him. Yeah, it's all right. No, it's not. I keep having these weird feelings about you that I shouldn't have. Lemmy sobbed and hit his face in his hands. <sighs> Iggy looked at him sadly and said, Who doesn't feel, who said I didn't feel the same? That I didn't feel disgusted by myself for letting me think those thoughts. Which thoughts? Thoughts of us kissing and doing other stuff. <laughs> like in the book, like... They touch each other and stuff. When Lemmy whispered, he put a hand on Iggy's knee. Yeah, things like that. Iggy shuddered as he felt Lemmy stroke his leg. And he said slowly, Can I kiss you, Lemmy? Lemmy blushed and giggled. Of course. They both looked into each other's eyes and slowly leaned in as their lips touched in a soft, innocent, a soft innocent kiss. Feels so good, he gasped as Lemmy as Iggy bit him and licked the small bite mark. Lemmy then knew that Iggy marked him and now he even out the pump. <laughs> Iggy, I want us to touch each other like in the book. Lemmy says he looked deeply into Iggy's eyes, showing his intense desire. Me too, Iggy says they kissed again with their tongues and the slow and sensual dance. They were already out of their shells, but they were wearing underwear. They looked at each other nervously and took off their underwear. They looked at each other and kissed. You, you have to remember, this is my first time I've ever done this before. Me too. I don't even I don't even recognize Stephen from P. Hehe. <laughs> Lemmy giggled. Both Kooplings blushed. Iggy took a deep breath as he reached for his brother's leg. Like hut. Let me gasp and moan softly as Iggy stroked it up and down. It was already hard, but it came harder when Iggy stroked it. pre -cum started showing on the tip as Iggy used his thumb to wipe it down the length. I'm, I feel weird. I think I'm close. Let me let whisper as Iggy stroked him a little faster and just a bit harder. But come, Lemmy, don't be shy, Iggy whispered huskily. He was so turned on by this, he couldn't believe it. Lemmy moaned softly and then gasped as he came for the first time. You mean second time, because he already came. Uh, he slowly let go of his twitching like hut as Lemmy sighed and fell from the, down on his back, panting. Iggy looked at his hand. Let me notice this and blushed. What are you looking at? Iggy grinned. I wonder what it tastes like, Iggy says. He slowly licked a finger. Let me blush and squeal. It tastes good, just like you. Iggy said Iggy said and licked up the rest. He he laughed as Lemmy glomped him and kissed him. My turd Lemmy turd as he kneeled in front of Lemmy. Slowly he licked the head and drop of pre cum on the tip, he whispered. You taste good too, Iggy. He, Iggy went, Iggy whimpered and clutched the seats tightly as long he continued. He licked the rim of the head and then slowly took half a like hut in his mouth as, as he felt Iggy thrusting his hips up and down. He stroked the rest and slowly sucked up and down. He pulled away his left. Let me, let me, I'm coming, Iggy panted and whimpered. Let me took out the leg from his mouth and stroked it. Then come for me. Come on my face, like I said. <laughs> Fuck this shit up. And then this bitch ship teases Ludwig and Larry and the Stinger. Well, I hope you enjoyed that fucking piece of shit. I know I didn't.